Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Rebel Link Escalation with our official scenarios introduced in the New Dollars and Disasters DLC. The last of these scenarios is called The Genie's Curse, and this is a really fun scenario. It's got a certain element of randomness to it, very much like the airlift. Occasionally, out in the desert, we are going to be discovering a genie's lamp, which is the key to ultimate power! However, it comes with a curse, just like a monkey's paw. Every additional power-up we get is going to come with some sort of a curse that makes the insurgents stronger or makes us weaker, etc. So it's kind of an unusual scenario, but definitely a lot of fun to play. I'm going to play with the banker today, because I do think that there's a chance we're going to get some uh, special power-ups that give us a ridiculous amount of money, which just stacks up unbelievably well with the banker. Also the billionaire, actually, for that measure, but we'll go ahead and work with this. I'll play with the celebrity, the local politician, Let's play with the military recruiter, the logistics expert, the doctor, etc. All of this should be good. Mega Brutal, and we're going to call this one Merciful Sword. Like a double-edged sword? Well, that seems appropriate. Hunt for the magic lamps and secure them to become all-powerful before they can be used by the insurgency. All right, well, with our local politician giving us some stable zones, this is a great location for our HQ. In fact, this is kind of the optimal setup, so we'll go ahead and move here. Now, for a lot of the game, it's going to be a lot of the basic stuff you're already used to. We want to make sure that we get ourselves some of the intel. We want to roll out a few initiatives that are going to be making our people happier, blah, 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 blah. But soon we shall discover one of those glorious lamps and I will show you exactly what's gonna happen here you never know how well you're gonna do in this particular scenario because it's always going to be highly randomized but I'm looking forward to finding out there's a lamp all right let's go ahead and deploy our development folks and they're gonna pick this thing up and we'll see what key to incredible power we are going to uncover today I'm hoping for something amazing especially if it can work well with our banker trait upon rubbing the lamp a thunderous noise is heard and in an explosion of colorful smoke the genie appears you have summoned me. I will grant you one wish. All right, and what is that wish going to be? We can have protection. Get six garrisons right now. Wow, that's pretty good. But the insurgents get two new tactics. Something random, some sort of random buffs for the insurgents. Could be really weak, could be really powerful. Faithful Allies trains three coalition soldiers, but we lose a reputation every two months. That's pretty hard. Gain 100 reputation. But our coalition soldiers are not going to be sticking around for very long. Honestly, I'm kind of inclined to think protection could work here. Garrisons could be pretty strong in certain circumstances, especially if we tie these up with the national soldiers to get some extra support and defense. But the extra two tactics, you know what? That's, that's old hat. How many scenarios have we played on Mega Brutal and other things that make these guys stupidly strong, right? So what do they get? Insurgents increase in number whenever we run. Well, that shouldn't happen very often, hopefully. And their activity... Okay, I hate this one. Insurgent activity is now hidden. We're gonna have to keep an eye on the map. But with this many garrisons, like, dude, that's pretty darn good. Um, what else should we be getting right about now? Let's get ourselves some outreach office and maybe universal justice? You know what? Actually, it wouldn't be a bad time to go for things like some telecoms just to start rolling out a little bit of extra support. There are a lot of different power-ups that are available. I've seen a few crazy ones, including, for example, getting $500 straight up. I don't exactly remember what the downside was to it, but $500 is freaking amazing, obviously. It gets you pretty much anything you're going to want in the entirety of the game. We could save up some money for some military units, but we also might get a lot of free power-ups. Uh, for our military units, so maybe I don't care that much. I'll go ahead and train up one coalition for soldier for obvious reasons, and it wouldn't be bad to actually start training up the national soldiers too, because if we get ourselves the garrisons, we can also pick up the civil support. Increasing local support in zones of the garrison, of which I have many. This is not a normal build order by any stretch of the imagination, but there you go. Okay, hang on. Garrison over here? Does that mean there's a camp in one of these regions? Very strong chance that that's the case, actually. Huh. Well, I guess I don't mind accepting that. Um, be oh, okay, there we go, right there. So maybe garrison here, could be in here, could be in here. Let's explore in these regions real quick, but I'll definitely take this garrison. Um, because we get the extra support, this is just straight out great for me. Really can't be upset about that, especially in a um, residential area like this. All right, so we found something. There's a lamp. Let's go ahead and run down this direction. Make sure we grab it. The insurgents are far away, so that's good. We are fighting in this region, but of course their activity is hidden, so I have really no idea where they are and what they're doing, which is going to be very, very unpleasant. But if we can keep them contained with the garrisons, we'll end up being okay. Um, another one of these coalition soldiers wouldn't be a bad plan. 
I am hoping that we're going to see some zones stabilize very quickly thanks to these garrisons. Should be able to do so. We'll see. Um, still don't know where that camp could be. Could be... It can't be right here, could it? No. There's no way. I mean, there's, there's the guy spawned on both of these tiles. But we wouldn't have spawned a garrison right on top of it, surely. Uh, I don't know. I'm curious what the next power-up's gonna be from O Friend Genie. Let's gonna see what he does. Uh, what do we got over here? We have some refugees. We're gonna go ahead and prepare some land. That is a little bit of extra reputation. Usually worth it to some degree or another. They're attacking this region. That's fine. What do we get for our next power? Control. 12 blockades. But they're gonna attack all the time actually could stack up really, really well with all of these uh, forts. If we can fight them very, very aggressively, then we can just kill them uh, so they can't retreat. However, there it is, $500, significantly increasing the initiative rollout time. Oh, that's hard to say no to. Two national soldiers catastrophically increase the corruption risk. No, I'm going to go for the $500. I'm sorry. It's hard to say no to that. I can now just train up pretty much anything I want. This is like God mode right here. Let's start by getting some anti-corruption going. We have to keep an eye on the inflation, by the way. I do want to get things at the PR and media office. Let's get some basic roads going. And we'll hold off for a second because this is looking okay. Uh, we are getting attacked over here. That's fine. I don't like that we're going to have to be watching the map to see where these guys go. I know that they're attacking over here, but that's fine. Hello, camp! We're gonna destroy that thing. I'm gonna destroy that thing so good. It's amazing. Uh, more strategic communications. Could do that. What else do people want? Regular roads and stuff. Dirt roads. Yeah, we can do a bit of that. That's fine. That's fine. With so many garrisons, I feel like we just kind of hit the uh, easy mode in this particular game. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. We're being attacked over here. Let's go ahead and run up in this direction. Make sure we fight them off. Don't let these guys sneak attack you in any particular way. Oh, there's a lamp over me. Oh, hmm. Okay, we really don't... Oh, wait. Did that just say... That okay, we found a lamp. Um, we don't want them to have it, though. How am I going to get in here and stop them from keeping this? Let's run in here and then use overwhelming force. Yeah? Drones and airstrikes and stuff. That would make some sense. More anti-corruption, some strategic communications. We need to get in here and... Whoa! There's a bunch of guys over here I didn't even notice. Ah! No, it's fine. We'll go ahead and fight them off. It's going to be okay. Airstrikes here, here for a reason. Am I right? I'm right. I know I'm right. Let's go ahead and train some additional coalition soldiers. Um, we're going to go for the uh, in, uh, foreign interpreters and stuff. We could go for some police, and I know our inflation and corruption is obscenely high, but we're going to have go ahead and do that. I've got so much money, I don't even mind. It's going to be okay. Uh, where are we being attacked at the moment besides this? I can't decide if we're being attacked over here or not. I see, yeah, we are. Okay, we need to run in there as well. I do want to go get this dang lamp, but first we have to actually win some of these fights. Let's get in over here. Let's go ahead and get our extra combat strength from the garrisons. And let's purge a fair bit of corruption to preserve some reputation. We're going to win this one easy right now, I'll just tell you that. It is going to be, this is easy mode. We got money and we got a frick ton of forts. So easy. Oh, bye camp. Hope you didn't want that or anything. All right, so if the development people are going to be over here, um, we need to pull you back elsewhere. I can't easily protect this region. But we can go here and move you, and then we'll be able to reinforce quickly if the need arises. Let's get some additional roads, some water. I know, I know, inflation is still terrible. Uh, but this is going to work amazing well with the banker. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I mean, notice how much money we're printing at this point. We literally have so many investments in the bank that we're just rolling in cash. It's kind of hilarious. We're being attacked over here. Didn't notice that. We should probably get in here and try to save this garrison before things get lost. We are going to be able to fight over here. That's good. We're trying to get this lamp. There's a camp over here as well. Uh, that's fine. Let's go for heavier ordnance on some of that. Let's get some additional purges of the corrupt. And let's get ourselves some police expansion to make sure that this is going to be a nice, easy fight. What do we want now? Faithful allies. They get more tactics, but we get more soldiers. Or we get tactics, but we get a lot of inflation. Or a whole load more garrisons. I mean, <laughs> this is stupid, but it works because we've got so many power-ups. It will be so thunders the genie. Look at all the forts. I've got so many of them. There's nothing you can do. Nothing. All right, let's go for a few extra of these over here. We want to get ourselves more telecoms and stuff. We probably want to sit back and let the corruption purge away and do its thing. Let's get rid of that camp. Let's move you. Honestly, you can literally move in here and just clear out this group so we don't have to worry about it. Same over here. To be honest, these guys are completely surrounded, which is absolutely hilarious for the record. Found another lamp, did we? Oh, it's over here where I'm already going? That works well. Let's get over here and clear these groups out. Then we can go deal with these guys around the desert. I'll let them keep their little piddly desert over there. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, we have foreign relations. I'm literally swimming in money. I don't mind that. Let's go for the subtle pressure. 
I do need that inflation to tick down, though, for real. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at some point. If you've got enough money, who cares about inflation, right? That's how it works or something? I don't know. Probably. Uh, let's get some more national soldiers. Let's make these guys stronger. Soldiers increase support levels? Could be kind of interesting. Probably not what I need, but could be interesting. Um, the corruption's still really atrociously bad right now. I'm not even kidding about that. Let's go ahead and cover this up. You never admit fault. That's just a general rule in life. You ah! We're being attacked over here. I didn't even notice. Uh, we're gonna lose a fort. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Alright, these guys were able to take down that fort. But you know what? It's fine. They're still surrounded. They're still all very dead. Okay? They're dead. You're dead, son. Alright, let's go ahead and move in these different directions. We'll try to protect over here. I'm gonna leave somebody around the city, though, just to be safe. Let's go for another one of them genie lamps. Some civil integration, but honestly, I need to just slow my roll. We've got so much stuff I can't keep up. Literally can't keep up over here. Find the camp. Blow up. Bye. All right, another refugee camp, uh, camp thing. We did say we were going to give them some land, so we'll do that. Really curious to see what we're going to find. Hello, we're being attacked up over this direction, are we? That's probably okay. I'm going to threaten you. I've got the power of a freaking genie. I'm back up to $500, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid how strong this is. What are you going to give me now? More power? Power? More fortune? No, we're not going to do that. Um, I don't think we want to go for the uh, reputation loss. Let's go for powers. I want to see what I'm going to get. So we got war censorship, no additional reputation loss when they retake zones. All right. Coalition soldiers leave a national unit whenever they're withdrawn. That's phenomenal. And after winning battles, coalition units gain additional deployment time. That's basically just getting the war hero power, like, straight up. That's obviously really, really good. So we just want to be fighting nonstop is what you're telling me. Fighting non-stop. I could probably arrange that. If only I could get some dang corruption out of here. Another lamp hath been discovered. Oh, it's in the hands of the genie. I'm sorry, not in the hands. The genie is in the hands of the insurgents. No, we got to go ahead and take this away from them. We should be able to win that nice and easy. Let's get some troops over here so we can try to force them back into a corner. I'm going to get some additional roads because I think the movement is nice. I'm going to threaten these guys a little bit more because we can. And then once these guys have been properly chased out of here, we're going to go ahead and claim that lamp. That magic lamp belongeth to me. Thank you very much. Uh, more camps are going to be spawning over here at some point, right? I mean, usually they like spawning camps whenever there aren't any left on the map, so I'm kind of expecting it, but so far I'm not seeing it. Democratic transition and stuff, don't really need it. What do people want? More water and stuff? Sure, we'll do that and some dirt roads. How's that? Lots of dirt paths, it'll be fine. Don't you dare interfere with my genie over here, though. I want more unlimited power, okay? Unlimited power? <laughs> it's, oh, you know what, Garrison? Why not? Sure, more garrisons right here to help me take this thing out. Can someone please bomb this? Because my, 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 my genie hunters can't, do, can't take that down. Genie smite it. Oh good, more money. Honor, disable corruption entirely. However, our budget is reduced. You know what? This is fine. Who even cares? I've got so much money from the banker, I don't need normal paychecks anymore. I am immune to this. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. There's no corruption. I can do whatever I want. Unlimited power! Sorry, I admit that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, this is getting a little to my head right now. But you gotta admit it's freaking fun, right? It's just a fun scenario. It really is. It's a fun scenario. Uh, what do we got over here? You know, let's go ahead and try to talk. There's a chance they say no. I, I don't even know how they could possibly justify that with my, uh, my incredible power being what it is. Oh, you want to leave? No, you don't. You want to go fight more insurgents. That's what you want to do. Go fight more insurgents. You'll be fine. We're going to prioritize that election. What's going to cost me? Money? Pfft, I am literally made of money. I don't even care. Electricity will be good. We'll go ahead and start working on some of that. Any other initiatives we want? You know what? We can train all of the national soldiers at this point. Yeah, I have inflation, but I got so much money, I don't even care. And we might as well get a lot more national soldiers and just make them a heck of a lot stronger. You know, one thing that really makes me angry, why is it that these keep spawning with the guy? Gosh dang insurgents, huh? Why does El Genie favor the insurgents so much? He just keeps showing up on their side. Makes me really, really confused and angry and bewildered. Anyway, that's fine. Um, let's go for more civil integration. We can go for the security checkpoints, making it even harder for insurgents to take over wherever there might be some sort of a garrison in place, of which I have many. Seeing a few more zones that are ready to stabilize in just a moment. You want to go home? Fine, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to, but thank you for leaving behind some national soldiers who were apparently embedded in your unit. That was very kind of you. Uh, we're going to move over here, and we're going to move you up over here, because I suspect that these two regions could have a camp already on them. They're some of the only unsupported areas that there might be a spawn. Probably not right here. Could happen, though. But probably not. But could. Let's go ahead and imprison all of them. Why can't I just use the genie to say I wish the insurgents were all dead? Hmm? 
I mean, I feel like that's also good. I'm curious what kind of negative impact there would be. You know what? All the insurgents die, but the catch is you also die. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Full elections, five reputation, 0% chance that the insurgents are able to stop me, which is hilarious. More national soldiers. Oh, gosh dang it. Get the heck out of y'all. Get the meck meow to meow. They're going to try to kill my people, but I think we'll be able to get in here and save their lives. Save the archaeologists. There we go. Uh, we could agree to a peace deal right now. If, if I just kill these guys, there we go, we win. But I wanted to see what the genie was gonna do. Uh, whatever, we're not gonna have enough time for this one. I'm about positive. Come on, maybe, maybe, maybe one more. Ha-ha! More fortune, faithful allies, or unlimited power? I take this one. Gosh. And there we go. Didn't take terribly long. Very fun scenario. Good God. We got so many extra perks. It's a great scenario. It really is. This is where, like, the randomness is just awesome, right? Because the airlift scenario was great in and of itself. But this one coming with the downsides? <laughs> I don't know. You really have to pick and choose. Like, this is an incredible benefit. But, gosh, the insurgents become impossible. The thing is, I've done so, gosh, dang many of these, uh, these kinds of scenarios. The insurgents getting a little bit stronger is just, it doesn't mean anything to me. That's just, that's just normal. That's just a normal Friday. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was the last of the new scenarios introduced in Rebel Inc. Escalation. They were all honestly pretty creative and fun. I would say some of the best that the developers have added so far into the game. At some point, I do plan on circling back around and going for the, uh, what was it called? Sand and Secret DLC, because I never did go through those scenarios, but we'll come back to that at a later date. So thank you again. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.